Hi, my name is Dan Pele. I'm from Durban. Uh, I'm the owner of the company 3D Structural Modeling, which was involved in the initial uh, model setup and uh, detailing of the structural steelwork for this project. When we looked at this project initially, uh, there were no uh, engineering drawings to work from, just a picture from the architects. And so we, we started off from scratch creating a model and, and the challenge was the arches because it was not a straightforward arch as you would see an arch in a bridge uh, which is horizontal to the floor that you're standing on. This arch was leaning over and the uh, center of the, of, the, of, the, of the radius of this arch was, was an imaginary point which we call the center of the earth. So we, we had to plot that point into our model and, and once we had got that right and once we had got the coordinates right then um, the rest was a lot easier, but finding that coordinate, we've never done something like this before. That was the first and biggest challenge. There were several challenges in detailing the structure. One was with the arches themselves. One was the fact that it was leaning over and we had to get the geometry right um, with much assistance from the engineers. Um, the second challenge was the, the leaning arches were fixing directly onto concrete buttresses at either end. And these buttresses, the actual point of contact between the arch and the concrete had to be plotted by ourselves. So we had to plot the exact point on where this steel arch will interface with the concrete. Uh, and we had to be incredibly accurate about that because holding down bolts were cast inside of the concrete. There was no room for error. So that was the first challenge. The second challenge was that the arches, the diagonal members in the arches were not symmetrical in the front face and the back face. So we had to get a view on the front face of the arch. Remember the arch is a box, it's a box structure. So we had to look at the front face, get an elevation on that and, and, and detail all of the vertical and diagonal members and go on to the back face and get a view on that and detail those vertical and diagonals because they were not symmetrical about. In other words, if, if, if you look in the front and one diagonal went left, the far side went right. So, and, and then the other challenge was the introduction of cambers, and this is a big challenge always in any structural steelwork uh, that, that we detail, but when you have an arch structure and you have to introduce a camber, it is, it is really a nightmare. So there were, two, there were two difficult challenges. One was the main girder of the roof structure, which was, wasn't a arch, but a, but, a, but a 60 meter long girder, about three meters deep. Um, we had to introduce a camber in that. And, and introducing a camber in a member that is completely bolted in the workshop and delivered to site in pieces, that's a big challenge. If you have a welded girder in a workshop, guys can introduce a camber on the workshop floor. But here, every, every piece of that girder was detailed piecemeal which meant that we had to model that girder in a cambered position, but remembering that the trusses coming from either side of this girder had to fix at a lower point when the, girder, when the camber works itself out in its fixed position. So we had to draw in the main girder first, fix in all the trusses either side, then uh, copy the model over and put in the camber into that girder, and then issue that to the workshop. So that was a challenge. And Lastly, in terms of challenges, was um, um, the, the, the interface between concrete and steel. Normally on other, on other projects, this, this wouldn't be such a problem because the tolerances were far greater than here. And so uh, we had to be 100% sure that, that our holding down bolts were exactly in the same position that the steel drawing showed it as to what the uh, contractor would actually cast the bolts in on site. So we had to plot points on our model and get a surveyor to plot the actual points of the holding down bolts on the concrete floor. One of the options I supposed in creating the arches especially would to, would, would to go with concrete. And I think that would have been an absolute horrendous task for anyone to do. And seeing that this arch was uh, um, what about 60, 70 meters off the ground and you have to put up scaffolding to, to support your concrete um, elements but also the fact that uh, the, the arch was um, not 90 degrees to the ground, it was tilted at an angle. I think it would have been a nightmare for somebody to have scaffolding, to have shuttering up at that level and get it right. So steel was so much easier to work with in that sense. This is a landmark project. Uh, this uh, church building in Durban, uh, previously known as a dome, and, and, and it, it is a landmark that everybody knows about. In years to come, people will always look at that. And so for us, um, 
that, that is the first thing. We were in, involved in a landmark project. And two was the complexity and the, and the difficulties that we engaged from the very first day till, till we issued the drawings. Uh, that will always remain with us as, as, a, as a notch in our belt, a bigger feather in our cap, to know that we have done this project successfully.